Hi people of YouTube, it's me, Amanda. Um, today's topic is kind of a, um, a serious matter, I guess you could say. Um, because today is National Self-Injury Awareness Day. Which, I'm guessing the title is pretty self-explanatory. But for anyone who does not know, uh, self-harm is a form of way of hurting oneself being with that um, a person cuts, um, burns, bruises, or scratches themselves to cause um, self-infliction, basically. So it's basically oneself causing a lot of physical pain um, to numb themselves. And a lot of this has um, to do with a lot of health reasons, basically. Like, um, when someone self-harms, um, it releases um, serotonin which is a neurotransmitter which goes throughout the body, which basically numbs someone or, like, blocks off the certain pain because you're only feeling physical pain and not an emotional pain. So it numbs you, basically. Um, and this day has a lot of importance, um, not just for, like, me. It's kind of in a personal sense, I you could say, for me. And um, just for other people I know and other people just out there in the world that have had trouble with self-infliction and self-harm and everything it's a very tough thing to go through it's not easy um a lot of people on the media or just some people in general are very ignorant about the whole issue and people say oh you cut because you're emo and because you want attention or something and that is completely and utterly false um a lot of people do it for different reasons may it be home problems, relationships, you're being bullied, the list goes on when it comes to why people do it. Um, and sometimes it could be a combination of different things, also alcohol, drug abuse, that ties into why you would self-harm because you're trying to find ways to cope with your issues and your problems in your life. And from me, I know a couple people that have and have stopped and I've always tried to help people when it came to self-harm and from a personal story of mine um me I have maybe a couple or so and it's 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 definitely a struggle to do it and to go through with it because you really don't know how to have any other coping mechanism um but also when it comes to other people and if you know anyone that does or suspect anyone that does Talk to them lightly about it. Take it in a serious way, though, and just let the person know that you're really there for them because that's all that person really needs is a person that they know that they can talk to, that they trust, and they won't judge them for what they're doing, really. Um, and that that's, like, really a big thing of, for the person that self-harms um, really needs and everything because that's their only coping mechanism. But if they have someone to talk to, it will lessen that stressor. Um... Also, this day is a national day, so if you were participating today, I know I was because I'm wearing purple, white, black. I have or I don't have any orange in my wardrobe, so I wore orange bracelets and I put butterflies on my wrists. Um, also, along with the Butterfly Project, if anyone's heard about that, the Butterfly Project is that you draw a butterfly on the part where you self-harm, and basically it keeps you from self-harming that one place because if you self-harm um the butterfly dies obviously from a cut um or any self-inflicting thing that you do but um yeah that also goes along with uh self-injury awareness day um i guess in essence and in light of this day um i think people just need to be a little more accepting and tolerable when it comes to people's feelings and emotions because you could be looking at someone and you have no idea that they self-injure themselves or what they're going through or their problems are you have utterly no idea what's going on and i think people need to be a little more aware and more knowing of other people's feelings and emotions because our words can totally affect someone's day or the whole week they've been having and they could just totally take it, twist it, and it'll really hurt and damage them. And they may turn that emotional pain into actual physical pain onto themselves. Because they do not know how to cope. Um, so yeah, I guess 
Guys, be a little more caring in the world and be more aware of other people around you and try to spread that kindness through other people, I guess. That's really what I'm trying to say. And, um, yeah. So, I'm glad whoever's watching this, I really just know that you will always find someone to be there for you. I know I have. Um, I've been there for other friends of mine. I'm always there to talk and also... If you comment in the section, comment section below, if anyone needs any help, just let me know. I will make more videos going on to this topic probably, and I'm really happy about making this video because I couldn't wait until this day came to make this video, so really excited about that. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's week is good and kind of need to go now because I'm going to go over to my boyfriend's house, we're going to watch some movies, and yada yada yada. Um, so everyone... I hope everyone's day was good. Happy National Self-Injury Awareness Day. And I hope everyone's week is good. And I'll see you guys next week.